You want to do Pantheon, but you need a good build. Or maybe your solar build is not working out and you need a little more survivability. Well, here I have two Pantheon builds. And I guarantee you, at least one of these builds will work for you in Pantheon. The first build we're going to look at is probably the best build. It is, of course, the Solar Hunter. If you want my exact build, pause the video now and take a look. But basically all you need is Celestial Nighthawk and Lucky Pants with Golden Gun and Warden's Law. Now as you can see we're using two exotics. You want to have them on separate loadouts so you can swap to them instantly. I do recommend using a Healing Grenade and Ember of Empyrean. Everything else for this build is up to you. You can use this build in a pretty much every encounter. Great response for everything. If you are one of the people grabbing the gaze for Golgoroth, you can jump in the pool, pop your golden gun real quick, and help your team out with the little DPS. One thing you do need to do though, is use Blade Barrage for Atrax. This solar build is the undisputed GOAT. Literally the best build for now at least. I mean solar is pretty OP this season with the artifact mods You'll even get radiance when you pop your super like That's so OP Radiant will buff golden gun, but that will be gone soon. So enjoy it while it lasts Also, do not stand in the well Do not stand in the well. It will get rid of radiance and even though the well of radiance technically gives Radiant, it doesn't work with Golden Gun and it's just stupid. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this build. Hopefully, you'll find it as good as I do. Now this next build is more focused on survivability than DPS. I made this build, so it would be easier to do mechanics like planets and getting the symbols for the caretaker. The one mechanic this does not work for is Golgoroth. Because he's stupid. He won't see you if you're invisible. Big surprise there. Do not use this build for Golgoroth. You grab the gaze and then you go in Viz to try to survive. And then your team will hate you because you're stupid. And then Golgoroth is stupid. And then you have to wipe because the pillar is filled up to the max already. You stick stick with the first build. Stick with the first build. And also don't use it for Atrax. Every other encounter is fine though. Including the next encounters in the following weeks. And you probably already know by now. It is a Void build. Void Hunter is the best for survivability. Why? Devour. And invisibility. You can use any exotic you want. But here I'm going with Star Eaters. So I can get my super faster and also do a little more DPS. And for the abilities, we've got Mobius Quiver for our super, Rapper's Ambush for the Invis Melee, and Vanishing Step. We're also using Gambler's Dodge to refresh our melee, allowing us to spam Invis three times. And that's pretty much it. The only problem with this build is that you are sacrificing DPS. However, you are providing the team with a 30% debuff. If no one's using Tractor Cannon, then this build will be helpful. The debuff from the artifact is only a 15% debuff, I believe. So you are providing the team with a little more DPS. I will leave a link in the description for the specific builds that I am using. If you like the builds, like and subscribe. And that is pretty much it.